How's it going boys and girls, Miles here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about World War 2 because I believe it is going to be the resurrection of Call of Duty. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to be able to tell that within like, the Call of Duty community, all that sort of bollocks, the game's been pretty dead for the past, well, not three years, I'd say probably four years to be honest, because everyone always goes on saying like the EXO shit as I kind of started to kill the game, but obviously Call of Duty goes as like, one of our most hated Call of Duty, so... Yeah, I mean, that's a load of bollocks. It's not just the EXO stuff, is it? For me, Call of Duty Ghost, I didn't actually mind the game. I actually kind of liked it, so I don't have anything wrong with that game. Uh, Advanced Warfare, it's a Call of Duty, so I liked it, but it probably is my least favourite COD, uh, alongside with Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare is actually pretty fun, but I just, I'm not addicted to it one bit. I can't remember the last time I played it. Um, I don't even think I'm above First Prestige, to be honest, so I've barely actually played the game. And then, of course, Black Ops 3... Uh, was actually a decent year for COD, I thought, really. It was a bit like 50-50, obviously. There was a people whining about the whole movement stuff, but it actually was a pretty fun Call of Duty. I, for one, liked Black Ops 3 as well. But now, here we are. We're finally getting a Call of Duty that we want. One about, well, World War, really. Pretty much everyone has wanted a Call of Duty uh, to go back into the past again. And World War is the main one we all wanted, and we were fucking getting it, which is beautiful. World at War is actually like my first Call of Duty uh, in terms of like multiplayer and stuff, so it is, I suppose you can say, sentimental to me. So it definitely is one of my favourites, and I'm absolutely buzzing that we've gone back to World War. I've been wanting a, Call of Duty, a World War Call of Duty ever since, really. And so far, from playing the beta, it is really fucking fun, and I think it has very big potential to be one of the greatest CODs. Obviously, I don't want to, like, hype it. I don't want to hype it in my head uh, because, obviously, it could end up disappointing me and letting me down. But, yeah, I'm trying to, you know, obviously, I, well, basically, I enjoyed the beta, so, obviously, I am going to kind of hype it a bit, really. By the way, in this background gameplay you're seeing, I did, in fact, go on a 40-plus kill streak. It's actually my best gameplay from the beta. In fact, I got, like, 51 kills and three deaths, quad paratroopers, and, obviously, the nuclear as well, nuclear kill streak, unstoppable as well. So, pretty sick gameplay. But yeah, in terms of the beta, I did really, really enjoy it. At first, I was quite shit at it, but that's because, as I said, I haven't actually played Call of Duty in bloody ages. Um, but then after a while, when I was getting into it again, getting back into the rhythm, you know, I started playing really well on it, and I was just really enjoying the game, really enjoyed the beta, um, and I'm just, I'm really looking forward to the full release. So far, I would say my favourite gun is the Grease Gun. That's a naughty little SMG, and my favourite map is either Gibraltar or Point points to hock however you pronounce it um like the trenches sort of thing but yeah those two maps are sick but in terms of guns um i believe they are going to be adding uh, more guns into the full game release and i bloody do hope they do to be honest because when i like, talk about the assault rifles category um it's actually quite poor if i'm going to be honest with you like the the stg is great it's a good gun but other than that they're just like what one shot kind of like or like one round burst sort of weapons like there's no other fully automatic Assault rifles, I don't think. I'm not sure, actually. There's one gun which I can't tell uh, if it was an LMG or an assault rifle. It was um, the gun that pretty much everyone used on their, like, very first game on the beta. Because it was on, like, one of the um, custom sort of classes things. And you, like, had to use the gun. And it is fucking shit. It is so bloody weak. Uh, you might know the gun I'm talking about. I don't know the name. And I can't really tell if it's an LMG or an assault rifle. But whatever it is, it is a shit gun. It shoots out marshmallows. But yeah, the SDG is good. Uh, the M1 Garand, that's good. I like that gun. Um, I didn't actually bother using the carbine because apparently that was shite. In fact, I did actually pick it up from people like I killed or whatnot. And um, it didn't seem to be that bad or good. It just seemed like to be like a bit of a meh sort of gun. But the SMGs, I probably would say, is the best gun category uh, from the beta. Um, as I said, the Grease Gun's my favourite gun. That's sick. There's also the WAF. 28, however you pronounce it, that is also really good, that was my favourite gun at one point, as was the Type 100, that's also a very good gun, those two guns are actually quite similar, I wasn't really using the snipers too much to be honest, because I wasn't doing very well with them, uh, but I think if I go into the rhythm of the snipers, I'll really enjoy it, because they do actually seem to be quite decent, I just personally wasn't doing very well with them, and also the shotguns seem to be proper overpowered, when you put them like incendiary, incendi I can't pronounce the fucking thing, but it's those like fire shells, and they are OP as shit with them. I did actually give them a go and it's quite mad. And obviously, 
there's like a little sniper. You can turn them into like bloody sniper rifles as well, which is pretty bit of a mad thing. Who really cares about MGs? To be honest, I don't really use them. I don't actually use MGs at all. I don't think. But there is one thing in particular that I definitely hope they do like put in to the full game, and that's the actual proper suppressor attachment. Like you can only use them on submachine guns on the beta. And I really hope that they sort that out so you can use them on your assault rifles, because that will be really annoying if you can't actually use a suppressor on assault rifles in the full game. The whole perk thing, really, um, is actually quite weird on this game. Uh, it's, it's kind of... It's a, it's a bit confusing, it's a bit weird. I'm not too sure how I feel about it, to be honest. Like, there's a divisions, and then they all come with, like, certain things. And then there was there's this like other thing, I forgot what it's called. Again, sorry, but you probably know what I'm talking about. These things had the stuff where you, like, reload faster... Uh, or you, um, you know, get your streaks, one kill off, that sort of stuff. I hope there's a way where you can, in the in the full game, where you can have more than one of those on. I really hope, because I've only been able to have one is a bit, mm, not really happy with that. Um, as I said, like the perks sort of stuff is a bit weird, so I do really hope that you can at least have two of those things. The kill streaks. Um, the kill streaks seem to be alright, to be honest. Uh, the paratroopers, I like the paratroopers, they're very good. They're kind of like a sort of the attack dogs for reps of World, War II, of World War II, sorry. Um, but I do hope they do add more kill streaks in, uh, especially like a controlled sort of fighter pilot sort of thing. I really hope they do add that. And I don't, I can't remember if there was like, I don't think there was any like sort of attack helicopter, obviously there won't be the helicopter, but like fire, like AI controlled fire jet. Like, I hope they have one of them as well, so I do hope they do add some more kill streaks into the game. Obviously, there will be supply drops being added into the full game. I, for one, don't really give a fuck about that, if I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not one of the people who gets all wet over it, and I'm not someone who gets buzzing over it as well. Um, I'm just, like, a bit neutral when it comes to supply drops. But I really do hope, like, if they do add stuff like new guns or, like, sick variants or whatever that you can actually get them without having to spend shitloads of money on supply drops until you flip in unlock them. Because, for example, on Black Ops 3, there's so many sick guns on there. I've got fucking none of them, basically. Well, I've got, like, the FAMAS. That's, like, the only mad good gun I've got on Black Ops 3. Because um, I don't really bother with supply drops. And, obviously, that's the only way you can flip and get the guns on the game, which is annoying. Um, so, if on World at War... Uh, sorry, I keep saying World at War, but on World War 2, if they do put in new stuff, like guns... Variants. I hope you can actually unlock them uh, somehow without having to spend money on supply drops. But for the full game, I'm buzzing for zombies. I think zombies seems to look alright, to be honest, from the trailer. Obviously, I haven't actually seen any gameplay yet, but from the reveal trailer, it does look quite naughty. Nazi zombies. That looks like it could be cheeky. Could enjoy that. The campaign. Obviously, we haven't really seen anything of the campaign yet. Well, actually, I'm not too sure. We may be from when I've uploaded this video. We might, actually. But um, the campaign... Uh, could be sick. As I said, I, from, from when I'm recording this video, I haven't seen anything of it yet. But it's a World War campaign, so, you know, without even seeing anything, it's got potential. And I do love a good campaign, to be honest. I couldn't really get into the Call of Duty Ghosts, Infinite War, or, sorry, Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3. I didn't complete any three of those campaigns, and I completed like, all the ones before that. However, Infinite Warfare... I completed that campaign, it was actually sick. If you haven't played the Infinite Warfare campaign, I do recommend it. It's actually one of my favourites, not going to lie. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what I do with the full game in terms of like what game modes there's going to be, if there's going to be any new guns, if so, what guns, um, what they're fixed, what they're going to fix, what they're going to improve, what the new maps are going to be like, of course, Zombies campaign, what they're going to be like. Um, and overall, as I said, I do really hope they make it so Suppressor is an actual attachment they can use for other guns other than SMGs. I hope they do add in some more guns, especially uh, fully automatic assault rifles, and I hope the kind of perk system might be tweaked with a little bit, that you can actually kind of have more than one thing on. And of course, as I said, more kill streaks like uh, a controlled fire pilot and an AI controlled fire pilot, stuff like that. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video now. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please hit the like button down below. Let me know what you're thinking about World War II. Uh, what did you think of the beta? And what are you thinking uh, going into the full game release? And subscribe for you. Follow me on Twitter. And I will see you later.